shock. All right, Marion. Um, what are your expectations heading into this season? Oh gosh, I'm, I'm so excited. I mean, I I think I did a lot of things in the off season. I strengthened some of my weaknesses, shooting, ball handling, and just general confidence. And um, but after seeing this first week of practice, I think a lot of people are going to be uh, pleasantly surprised, and you're not going to hear me use the. We're going to shock people because I'm sure folks are probably going to get tired of hearing that. But I really think that we are, if nobody's going to come here in Tulsa or we're not going to go anywhere and get just walked all over. What do you think is going to make this year different from last year? I think the attitude is generally a little bit different. Uh, you know, we, we got the first one out of the way. It was kind of painful. <laughs> um, but I just think the attitude now is one where kind of have our own identity now. You know, last year was all kind of mixed. We don't even have to go there, but really it's Tulsa's team yeah. now. I think with some of the younger kids that we got, I hate to say that younger kids, but the attitude is just fresh. You know, this, okay, I'll do whatever you whatever you ask for a coach. If you want us to jump off the roof, we'll do it, you know? And I think it, with his style of play, his system, you've got to have, especially some kids that'll do that. So it's going to be fun. You're only one of four that was at camp last year. Yes. What changes have you seen between this camp and last year's camp? Well, I can only speak from my like, personal, my personal opinion is just that I feel a little more comfortable because I kind of know what to expect. Like this time last year, I was like, like probably a deer in headlights, like because you don't know what the next day is gonna. What's gonna happen? You don't know the teammates. You don't really know anything about the league, and uh, so I was. It's different because I feel more comfortable. I feel more comfortable, especially because I know, you know, a bunch of the girls now, and we we've, we've been through some tough roads, so we bonded because of that. And um, so yeah, I don't know. It's just a different type of positive energy. Have you seen any differences with Hall of Famer Teresa Edwards on staff now? <laughs> I, I call home and I tell my husband that it was such a great. Fine. I mean, the fact that she was out there and any advice for her? Every time she says anything in practice, everybody stops what they're saying and listens. And it's great because you know she's been there. You know that when she's tough on you, it's because she wants you to get better. There's like no other agenda. It's real. It's refreshing, and I just feel just really excited that we got her here. I have a fan question from okay. David Siegel. What role should we expect to see from you this season? Well, hi, David. Um, I don't know. I think all of us are still trying to figure out what our role is and what coach wants us to do. And for me to say, well, this is what's going to be my role, <laughs> it doesn't, how, it's not how it goes down with him. It's, and I don't think he's really, he hasn't shared with me, I don't think he's shared with anybody kind of what, just who wants us to work hard, listen to what he says, and um, good things are going to happen, but you know, I, I think I definitely want to be more of a leader. I certainly want to get on the court a lot more, <laughs> um, and uh, just be a, more of a significant presence on the court. All right, pick a teammate, coach, or staffer. Okay. Who would you most like to go shopping with? I probably want to go shopping with Tiffany Jackson. Who would you want to make you dinner? These girls can't cook. I miss. <laughs> I don't know who that would be. Oh. Probably Coach Nolan's wife. I hear that she can cook pretty well. But. Who would you pick to be stranded on a desert island with? I probably think Ivory, because she just uh, would keep you cracking up the whole time. Who should have the ball in their hands for the last shot? Oh, I want the ball in my hands. And at the free throw line, who should be there? I put Betty there. Who's the most underrated? You beat Chastity Reed. If you weren't playing basketball, what would you be doing? I'd be at home with my babies. And who are you rooting for in the NBA playoffs? Um, I want the Thunder, of course. <laughs>